last time on Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. You'll have three minutes to complete your entire face of makeup. A full face without a mirror is just insane. You just don't do that. She had made a complete mess of her station. You do have purple eyeshadow up to your brows, and it's not very well blended. And today... I feel like my heart's gonna break each time we send someone home. We're here with our fabulous guest judge, Gregory Gorgeous. I flew all the way from Canada, so you guys better be turning it out, or else. <laughs> each of you have a plain white t-shirt. I'm expecting you guys to turn it from ordinary to spectacular. Drop it, bitches! Some of you just made a hot damn mess. Ten aspiring vloggers go head to head in the ultimate fashion and beauty battle. Only one will become the next online style guru. The winner will get an amazing clothing and accessory stash from JustFab.com, makeup from Derm Store, a cash prize, and their own series on You Look Hot. Being beautiful isn't always pretty. This is Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. There were a few different people that we thought could go and kind of deserve to go. This is my first time having to judge people and eliminate them and it's really hard because I am not the type of person who's confrontational. I never say negative things to people. So it's a little bit difficult for me, but it is a game and I'm going to get through it. We realized that this was a really difficult challenge. It was practically impossible. We had to make a decision at the end of the day. This is a competition and somebody has to go home right now. So we're sorry, but Roxanne, we're not subscribing to your vlog. When I came in, I really probably thought maybe I would have gone on to a couple more challenges, but the first one with um, is just what really threw me off. What I actually wanted to see in this in the bag was mascara, and there was no mascara in there. It's a first try for me, you know, doing something new, stepping out of my box, so. I could always say and look back on this and be like, I started from with this episode with no makeup. I just wanted to like, thank Ellen Blair for this opportunity. Very exciting, you know, my first time. And I want to give a good luck to all the other contestants. Good luck. Welcome back, everyone. You've made it to the second day of boot camp. So give yourselves a round of applause. Congratulations, and we are here today with our guest judge, Gregory Gorgeous. He has a huge following on YouTube, and he's definitely an honor to have here today. Well, thank you, ladies. I love being here. It's going to be so much fun. And I flew all the way from Canada, so don't waste my time. <laughs> You'll notice that there's a plain white t-shirt that's been added to your station today. And we all know the plain white t-shirt in front of you is nothing special. It's very annoying and random. So you're going to obviously have to glam it up. I'm expecting ordinary to spectacular. You guys are each going to draw a random number and that's the order you're gonna come up and pick your accessories. When you come up, you get to choose four accessories and you guys each get 12 minutes to completely transform your white t-shirt. So we wanna see something big and fun and that shows your personality. Think outside of the box and get creative with it. Let's go ahead and start drawing numbers. Number one, come and pick your four accessories. You think I would be more excited to be first, but I needed a little more time to really think about what I wanted to do with the shirt. I think I could have had more time to choose supplies that would have fit my design better. Let's see. Scissors, of course. When I got number two, I was like, okay, I'm going for scissors, number one, and I'm doing some kind of braiding with the fringe. So I didn't get eliminated in the first challenge, but I got absolutely no feedback from Ellen Blair. I need to make some kind of statement, get my foot in the door with them, have some interaction. I took a long time at the accessories table. I think I was a little overwhelmed, and I kept thinking, scissors, scissors, pick up scissors. And then I got to the table, and I went blank. I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna kick me off because I've been at the station for so long. You guys don't have unlimited time either, so you need to really think fast. Look at you, number nine. Congrats. We're gonna get a real drag queen right now. When I saw the bedazzler, I had a plan. So we have 12 minutes on the clock. Your time starts now. Whoa. <laughs> I wanna say something, but I don't know if I can. Say, say it. it. So Gregory came around and was looking at my shirt and he's like, I can't even say it. I can't even say it. No, it's like, no. Say, say it. it. No, no. Say it. It looks, okay, no I can't. Say, say it. it. It looks like she's in the army. 
with, but like, I'm no, 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 that but like, with like trying to, yeah, that's bad. Um, like the camo with the bright colors, but this fabric, it's, it's just, just looking not, like blood. Like it's just not war. working. Yeah. <laughs> So my heart sank, but I agreed with him because it didn't look good. It wasn't translating the way I needed to. You are frantically sewing, aren't you? I know I was the only one who sewed. I had to thread the needle, people. Do you know how hard that is? She's getting metallic with Hardware. it. Hardware. Yeah. When I got the bedazzler, I, just, I was super excited to use it. And at first, I thought it was gonna be super simple to just get them on there. Then I realized that it was actually a little harder to get the bedazzles on there just because you have to punch it down, put it down. So I just started stuffing them in there and bending the back on my own and just getting wild and getting it done. Is this crochet? Are you showing your shirt? You wanna win this I one. Gregory Gorgeous comes to my table and goes, this girl's in it to win it. And that, that is gonna be my motto for the rest of the competition. I'm in it to win it. I wanna win this thing. Giselle looked like she was doing something really cool. I could see she was cutting some things up, and so that's when I got a little nervous. I'm like, they're doing, they're doing some cool stuff to the shirts. Some I like, some not so much. Some aren't coming along at all. <laughs> dream on a cloud? No, no, just like the... Just dream on. Oh, just, just dream, dream on. on. I did have a little reasoning behind why I chose those words, dream on. I was trying to reference like what I'm about, which is definitely the love of like Rock and roll and vintage. Oh, that's interesting. Making a oh. pocket where there's not one. Have you done this before? <laughs> <laughs> I want to shout out my high school, Southeast Raleigh High School in Raleigh, North Carolina, um, because we always cut up our shirts and did the little braiding thing down the um, side. Uh oh, time's going fast. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Drop it, bitches. <laughs> this was definitely hard walking around, I can just say, from my perspective at least. Some of you had really good visions. I was looking around and some of you just made a hot damn mess. All right, Tony, hold up your shirt and tell us what you did. I don't know if you guys remember your grandma having those sweaters that had like the thing written on there. Like that's just what I thought of. And then I just um, added some stars to improvise. I used the same glue with some glitter just to get a little drag queen in there for me. And um, some spikes, just because I love spikes and glitter. And cut it up a little, just like you had a crazy night out. I mean, it's like the cutest thing ever. Marta? It was like drawing a face, like kind of long van uh, kind of style with like feathers and stuff. But it was really hard with that kind of spray. So I made like something like more abstract with like those frames, but still like elegant and graffiti style at the same time. So edgy, but elegant. I can see where you were going with that one. Yeah. Giselle? My girlfriends and I have an expression um, that's called a mullet outfit, which for us means business in the front, but a party in the back. So I kind of did this like shredded crocheting, you guys called it, in the back. Added a little bit of metal, which I couldn't glue down because I didn't have glue. I didn't go with the exact concept in my head, but I think I ended up doing something a little bit better. Christina? I got nervous and forgot to get scissors. And so this is not what I wanted to do, but I worked with it. So what in a perfect world were you trying to do with that? I actually wanted the scissors because I was gonna cut here and sew on the, the fabric there. Do you think that this is a t-shirt you would ever wear? No. Okay. Did it come out great? No. No, would I wear the shirt? Definitely not. Mine was an homage to my love for classic rock and Aerosmith, Dream One's one of my favorite songs. I also wish I had scissors to cut the sleeves. I would definitely have cut the sleeves. Didn't you draw number one? Yeah. So how'd you forget scissors? I just did it. All right. I mean, I didn't want it to look just like a plain white tee. So I cut um, the top so you could have it loose around your shoulders, maybe do a one shoulder thing. I cut some fringe at the bottom. This 
camo fabric wasn't actually the best choice. I had it kind of layered across, but it just wasn't working, so I made little hearts. Honestly, Rachel, I think that when we came over and we were like, what are you doing? Your shirt looked awful. Uh -huh, it was yeah, really man. bad. But I think you you had the vision that kind of like matched the theme of this show with the bright color and the camo. I get where you were going with it, but kind of skewed off course at the same time. I do like that you realized your mistake though and you corrected it while you still had time. You <laughs> saved it. Yeah, you did. I like simple things. I mean, I mean, it doesn't look totally simple, but it's like a basic like t-shirt. In a perfect world, I would have grabbed the scissors and like ripped it. And I kind of like that it's like coming off and like wrapping around in the back, you know? Um, I love all things girly rock. So um, I actually have a fashion blog called glamrock.com. So it's just a skull with a girly skull, basically. I like it. I like how it's very clean, but I think that it's just a, a little bit tacky with the, with the rhinestones. But you did a really good job with the gel. All right, last but not least. In my past life, I was like Joan Jett. So I love hardware, um, so I played with, you know, the little shoulder piece. I actually made a pocket square, and I did the um, fringe at the bottom, and I braided it so it can just be, I mean, something cool and easy, but also, like, I like hardware and rock stuff, so. Yeah, like, out of cool. all the shirts, I could see myself actually wearing that with a pair of jeans. Cool. Yeah. I would say me too. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> We know that this was a really tough competition, but I don't feel like some of you gave it your all, and some of them just weren't that great. I'm gonna say personally, Shanice, I could definitely see myself wearing your t-shirt. You were amazing. Very, very cute, very chic. And Christina, I heard last week you were great, so I don't know what happened this week, but yours was... Awful. It was awful. It was awful. Took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. But unfortunately, someone is going to have to go home right now. Next week on Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. We're not subscribing to your vlog. We have a very special guest judge here with us today. She's a professional organizer and specializes in our favorite room of the house, closet. You have three minutes to completely make this closet reorganized. Go. Which four accessories would you choose? Leave it in the comments below.